Welcome. Welcome family and friends to the wedding of Kate and Ross. What an incredible day. <laughs> we got a break. Look at this. We got I knew we'd get a break. It's an incredible day. Before we get too far, I want to actually recognize some folks that are here today that are largely responsible for why we're here today. The parents of the bride. Sandy and Mike Brakovich. And the parents of the groom, Margie and Jeff for Bowen. Please put your hands together for our parents. <laughs> What an incredible, incredible day. You know, Kate asked me to marry them. I haven't married anybody before. You guys haven't been married before. So this is going to work out great. <laughs> but I was truly honored and privileged to be asked. And the answer was yes, yes, yes. Just like all of us here today, we're very honored and privileged to be here on Kate and Ross's day. This is an incredible day. Days will come and days will go, but we will never, ever forget. As all of us know, Kate and Ross have been together for nine years. Pretty close to nine years. <laughs> really close to nine years. For the sake of the story. <laughs> For the sake of the story. It's just about nine years. And although they're not starting over, today is the first day. It's a brand new chapter in the book of Kate and Ross. It's a brand new beginning. And it's a privilege to be here today. You know, when I was preparing for this, I actually had Kate and Ross do a little exercise where they got a blank piece of paper <laughs> and a pen, and they had to go to their neutral corners, and they had to write about all the things, why they love each other. <laughs> and you thought I was giving them a midterm exam. <laughs> and they agonized over the assignment. <laughs> I prompted Ross a little bit and the words just flowed from his head. He actually asked me for more paper. <laughs> Kate took a little more time. I still have some more friends. <laughs> she crossed off a bunch of stuff. <laughs> she needed to think about her homework a little bit. But when I received them, I read them at the kitchen table, all by myself, and you could see the love pour out of these responses. They were very unique, obviously, as you would expect. We talked a lot about how they met at the UWS climbing wall and what first attracted them to each other. Some of the stuff I can't talk about because it's PG-13. <laughs> Like, I read all this, I could feel the love come from these answers. And there were some common themes that I saw throughout. Themes like respect. And this incredible admiration that they had. Loyalty was mentioned so many times. And they spoke of these shared loves from the outdoors, what a beautiful venue. <laughs> to fitness, to biking, to, to their dogs, to traveling. These are the things that are going to sustain you. They talked about humor because they both think each other is hilarious. They may you always think each other is hilarious. <laughs> they talked about great conversation, these deep and meaningful conversations that they have between the two of them. And they talked about forgiveness. say enough about that because all through your time together your ability to forgive and think about stuff that really matters it's going to hold you together 
These are the themes that are the foundation that make Kate and Ross. If you work to keep these things in your heart and your mind, there's nothing. At this point, I would like you to face each other. So this should look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to read through this Ross, and then you'll say I do at the end. Okay, so get all the way through. Ross, do you take Kate to be your wife, your partner, your companion for life, to love her, to honor her, to hold and comfort her, to keep her safe in good and bad times, forsaking all others for as long as you both will live. And Kate, do you take Ross to be your husband, your partner, your companion for life, to love him, to respect him, to be there for him in good and bad times, forsaking all others for as long as you both will live? for about, I want you to repeat after me. It's getting real. It's getting real. It's getting real. I, Ross, take you, Kate. I, Ross, take you, Kate. To be my wife, my love, my best friend. To be my wife, my love, my best friend. From this day forward, for from this day forward, and in the presence of our family and friends, and in the presence of our family and friends, I will be there for you. I will be there for you. Whether we have the wind to our backs, whether we have the wind to our backs, or steep hills to climb, or <laughs> steep hills to climb, we will live this life together. We will live this life together. You have my solemn vow, Kate. You have my solemn vow, Kate. That I will love and respect. That I will love and respect. And support you in your goals and aspirations. I will support you in your goals and aspirations. Together we will laugh and cry. <laughs> Together we will laugh and cry. And my love for you will never waver. And my love for you will never waver. Very nice. <laughs> I, Kate, take you, Ross. I, Kate, take you, Ross. To be my husband, my love, my best friend. To be my husband, my love, my best friend. From this day forward. From this day forward. With our family and friends as witnesses. With our friendly and family and friends <laughs> as witnesses. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. Whether we are paddling with the current. Whether we are paddling with the current. Or facing the crux of our climb. Or facing the crux of our climb. We will live this life together. We will live this life together. You have my deepest promise, Ross. You have my deepest promise, Ross. That I will love and respect. That I will love and respect. And support you in your dreams and plans. And I will support you in your dreams and plans. Our lives will be a celebration. Our lives will be a celebration. And my love for you will know no bounds. And my love for you will know no bounds. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> I got quiet at the end. <laughs> and now I'd like to do the exchange of rings. I do believe, Harry, you have the ring. <laughs> and Ross, go ahead, Harry, give it to Ross. And Ross, go ahead and put the ring on Kate's finger. Repeat after me. Kate, this ring is a symbol of my promise. To you on our wedding day. I love that you are my wife. I love that you are my wife. Really. <laughs> Rachel, so good. Okay. 
Ross, this ring is a Ross, this ring is a symbol of my commitment. Ross, this ring is a symbol of my commitment. To you on our wedding day. I love that you are my husband. I love that you are. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> now turn and face your family and friends. We believe we have some doves for you. I wonder as you begin your life together, let this pair of doves symbolize the love and devotion that will go through your years together. The memory of these two creatures of nature who bond together for life will serve as an inspiration as you both go forth, traveling a path started by two, and combine it as one with a never-ending love for one another. Okay, you guys are going to do this together now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Doves won't want to do stuff. <laughs> Friends and family, I present to you all the newly married couple, Kate and Ross.